It is hard to imagine today, but in 1947, as India approached independence from the British, the country was divided into more than 300 principalities and kingdoms. The story of how the princely states merged with India through the efforts of Sardar Patel and his deputy VP Menon is one of the most fascinating chapters in Indian history. Not many realize that at the beginning of the 20th century, there were actually two Indias, British India and princely India. In the 18th century, as the British East India Company had expanded its rule across India, it signed separate treaties with Indian rulers. They later became vassals of the British Raj. While some of these princely states like Baroda, Gondal and Mysore were far from advanced than British India, most of them were extremely poor and backward. As India approached independence, the British political department under Sir Conrad Corfield announced that there would be a lapse of paramountcy. According to this, all treaties between the princely states and British India would lapse and each state would be technically independent. This was a recipe for chaos and disaster. It was Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel and VP Menon who put together a strategy to unite India. It was done in two phases. The first was to get the kingdoms to sign the instrument of accession which would make these kingdoms a part of India. Nawab Hamidullah Khan of Bhopal, who was the Chancellor of the Chamber of Princes, tried his best to convince the other princes not to join India. But his efforts were thwarted by Maharaja Shardul Singh of Bikaner and Yadvinder Singh of Patiala. Maharaja Pratap Singh Rao Gaikwad of Baroda was the first ruler to sign the instrument of accession. By 15th of August 1947, most of the princely states had joined India except Junagar, Kashmir and Hyderabad. Thirteen princely states acceded to Pakistan. Three notable cases which VP Menon had found especially challenging were Jodhpur, Indore and Travancore. Maharaja Hanuvant Singh of Jodhpur had been discussing with Muhammad Ali Jinnah, who headed the All India Muslim League, the possibility of Jodhpur joining Pakistan. But VP Menon managed to convince him otherwise. Yashwant Rao Holkar of Indore held out on joining India as long as he could before dispatching the instrument of accession to Delhi by ordinary post. The princely state of Travancore controlled the world's largest reserves of thorium, which was used in the enrichment of uranium and was coveted by global nuclear powers like the UK and the US. Sensing an opportunity, Travancore's Divan, Sir C. P. Ramaswamy Iyer, made a bid for independence. But an assassination attempt on his life rattled the Maharaja, who realized it would be smarter to join India. Among the three outliers, Kashmir, Hyderabad and Junagar, the Nawab of Junagar, known for his love of dogs, signed the instrument of accession to Pakistan under the influence of his Diwan, Sir Shah Nawaz Bhutto. Following a popular revolt, the Nawab fled to Karachi by air with his favourite dogs and Junagar became part of India. The tribal invasion of Jammu and Kashmir forced Maharaja Hari Singh to sign the instrument of accession on the 26th of October 1947, while the Nizam of Hyderabad held out for a year. The Nizam made a strong attempt to become independent, but following Operation Polo undertaken by the Indian Army, he surrendered on the 17th of September 1948. This was the first phase of princely unification while the second phase was through something known as the Merger Agreement in which the princely states were merged into larger entities. For example, in May 1948, 25 princely states including Gwalior, Indore, Dhar and Ratlam were merged into the Madhya Bharat Union, which later became Madhya Pradesh. While in March 1949, 22 princely states were merged together to form the Rajasthan Union, 
Similar princely unions were formed in Bundelkhand, Saurashtra, Punjab, and Odisha. They would be further recognized with the linguistic reorganization of states in the 1950s and 60s. The united India that we see today is a culmination of the Herculean task that was admirably accomplished by Sardar Patel and VP Menon.